hello. It's October 21st, my birthday. I'm here with Curtis and the baby. By the time you see this video, the announcements will have totally gone up. So we're gonna go book shopping right now. We are at Value Village and then we're gonna go to Indigo because I want my cheap books. And then the used bookstore that we were gonna go to was closed when we were done dinner. So I might just go tomorrow. You wanna come with me tomorrow? Maybe. He's probably not gonna come with me, so I'm just gonna go by myself. But yeah, we're gonna go get some cheap ass books and then go buy some more expensive books. And I'm gonna try to not throw up. What are you doing? Do you guys like my beard? I like it. A little beard. patchy, but turn it's coming along. Turn to the side, this side. No, your other side. Yeah, oh, look geez. at that. Look at that little patchy beard. Oh, love it. Okay, we must go and then we will see you guys later. This sweet valley high. Oh my god. In heaven. I'm in heaven. So we are just backing into Indigo. Look at that beautiful bitch back there. That's the beautiful bitch! Madison is freaking me out from Paperback Mary. Uh, paperback princess, princess of paperback. Jesus Christ, her name is different on everything, Madison. I can't remember. I'm supposed to be intrigued. There's something at my house waiting for me. I don't know. What's at our house waiting for me? I don't know. Is it a person? Is it a place? Is it a thing? Hopefully, I don't know. Pet, Madison. Did you get us another pet? Thank you. Anyways, we're gonna go into Indigo now. Oh, I wonder if Helen's working. Oh, we're next to Starbucks. I can get my birthday drink as if I didn't get five free drinks already today. It's so yeah, we're gonna go. I'm gonna see what she yells at to recommend me because oh, Tara's texting me too. I'm so popular today. Uh, yeah, let's get going. This is my favorite place in the entire fucking world. Why you so stiff? Thank you kindly, ma'am. I bought a bunch more books and it's really dark in here. This is, I can't, that's not safe for Curtis. So it's 10 after seven now. We are about to go vote at my old grade school and then we're gonna go home and watch a movie and there's gonna be a package waiting for me that I know is a romance book because I almost bought a romance book and Madison was like, stop it, you dumb bitch. And I stopped because I'm a dumb bitch. After we vote, I will go do a tiny, tiny book haul. I might wait till tomorrow though, just cause we're gonna watch a movie. And I really got it and I'm very gassy still. Welcome to pregnancy. Kurt loves it. Right. <laughs> I literally could not tell you why I'm still doing this on my phone because I am now at home on my lovely couch, but I'm lazy. I don't really feel like jumping back and forth between phone and camera when I'm editing. Oh my god, I could nap for a week right now. Anyways, I have the book. And what the fuck is this? And some of the packages. I know I have some packages still out for delivery from other people on Amazon because Liv told me. I'm going to just do the unboxings for what I have right now. And this is going to work so much better if I'm on the camera. I'm going to switch. Do you want me to take Draco? No, it's fine. Take me this. Thanks. Okay, so, hi Bubsy. Draco's right there. I'm still gonna be going to a different bookstore tomorrow. I'm going to the used bookstore tomorrow. Hey. What are you playing with? It's playing with a cord, it's super annoying, but it's fine. I lost my train of thought. Sweet boy. I'm gonna show you the books I got. I'm gonna unbox some of these packages, and then as the Amazon packages come in, and once I go to the other store tomorrow, I will do more unboxings slash hauls. Thing. Starting with the ones I got at Value Village. I was so excited to find these because I am trash for this series. It's absolute trash, but so am I. I got the first three books in the Throne of Glass series. Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, and Air of Shadows. And I think these are the UK editions. I'm pretty sure, not 100% sure, they are because it says pounds on here. And we don't use pounds here. I want to get the whole series in these covers. I don't know which ones I like better. I'm going to have to do a comparison and then probably do a comparison 
covers and video about UK and US covers because why the hell not? So I got those three. I got a paperback edition of The Goblet of Fire. This is not The Goblet of Fire. Order of the Phoenix. So now I have these covers in i have all of them in hardcover except for goblet of fire <laughs> hi sweet boy and then i have all of them in paperback except half blood prince and the deathly hallows which i'm still trying to find also this is probably a good idea getting this one because my hardcover edition of this one is toe up it's torn to shreds i don't feel like going to get the book right now but torn to shreds that hardcover is off and then well, you can kind of see it curtis can you turn it down for a hot second i love you i got what to expect when you're expecting by heidi murkoff and sharon mazel the pregnancy bible basically i have another parenting pregnancy book that i haven't actually read but i want to get into this uh this is the fifth edition i'm pretty sure this is the newest one it was there it was six dollars why the hell not this book is actually like quite heavy as well aching pelvic bones lack of bladder control that's eight months and i'm feeling that already i'm in my fourth month right now i will be 15 weeks tomorrow so i'm in this chapter here Ooh. okay so that is what i got at value village i almost forgot what that damn store was called and then i went to indigo naturally and i signed up for the plum plus program if you don't know what that is and you are canadian i honestly I highly recommend it it's a combination of the i rewards program where you got 10 percent off and the plum rewards program where you got five points per dollar that you spent now it's combined it's 39 dollars a year you only have to pay once a year and it's i think four dollars more than the i rewards program but you get 10 percent off and plum points free shipping to your house not just to the store and you can use it on items that are already on sale and then when you sign up, they give you a $10 bonus gift card that you can use online from now until Christmas. Indigo Kids, what is, what are you? I got stickers in some kids magazine. I kind of want to look through this and see if there's any board books or something that I can start my baby's first library. Also, publishers, if you're watching this, yes, I will accept board books and baby's first books and any sort of children's books for review because your girl is gonna have a child in April. April 14th is my due date. <laughs> Okay, anyways, I didn't even talk about what the other books were about, but like, Throne of Glass, she's an assassin that doesn't actually kill people. The series is trash, but it's actually really good, and if you don't know what Harry Potter's about, I can't help you. I'm sorry. First book, it's not the first book that I picked up, but the first book that I grabbed out of this bag from Indigo is The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons, which is about this guy named Kieran, a thief and a minstrel's, uh, a minstrel's son, and then they're like, hey, actually, surprise, you're not really who you thought you were. You're the son of a treasonous prince who's been missing his entire life. And he's like, are you sure? Are you sure you're sure? Cause I don't know, it seems fake. So then he's at the mercy of this new family's power plays and political ambitions. And being a long lost prince is not all it's fucking cracked up to be. He's a prisoner, not a prince. It says the storybooks have lied about a lot of other things too. Dragons, demons, gods, prophecies, true love and how the hero always wins. Are you telling me that there's supposed to be dragons in this but there's not actually gonna be dragons? Cause that's a fucking dragon on the cover. If there's not a dragon in this, I'm going to cry. He's not supposed to be the hero. He's actually destined to destroy the empire, not save it. So it's kind of like a twist on the chosen one trope. Remember that saying for a video that's coming out later this month. There's a very specific reason I got this book. Anyways, it sounds really good. And like the tagline is, what if you weren't the hero? I'm doing this as if you can fucking read it. She's kind of a chonky boy. Ooh, and the font is tiny. She's thick, smells delicious. Am I on crack or am I just hormonal? A little bit of both. Crack for two. And then I keep seeing this everywhere on Goodreads. I got The Never Tilting World by Rin Chupeko. A demoness is what they call a goddess that men cannot control. Fuck me up. Suck my dick, this sounds fantastic. So the world is like literally split between day and night and it doesn't tilt one side's night, one side's day. And then there's two sisters, twin goddesses, and then one of the sisters betrayed another sister in some such way that defied an ancient prophecy and split their world literally into planet cease to spin, three quarters of the world perish. This bitch was like, fuck all y'all. Three quarters of you are gonna die because I'm gonna be a dumb bitch. She probably had a really good reason, but let's read and find out. And then a great abyss divides the planet now. One is always nighttime and one is always daytime. Seems kind of shit. One sister rules a frozen sea city surrounded by a storm-wracked 
C, not surrounded by a storm-wracked city. Don't listen to me. And the other one inhabits the sand-locked golden city. And then each goddess has a daughter, and each goddess keeps her own secrets about the past. Obviously, one of you did some shit that you probably shouldn't have done. And my guess, before knowing anything else about this damn book, is that the one who we think is supposed to be the good one is actually gonna be the one who is like, not. And the one who betrayed was not actually the betrayer, but the betrayee, probably. It's YA. If I guess that plot twist, Bless you, sunshine of my life. Before I read the fucking book. No, oh, I'm sorry, Draco. I love you, sweet boy. That scared him. Do you have pants on? <laughs> they look like you didn't have pants on anyway. <laughs> love that. And then the two daughters set out on a journey to heal their broken world. And there's gonna be a lot of sacrifice. It sounds great. And I'm really, 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 really fucking hoping that it's not gonna be one of those typical YA fantasies lately where it's just, here's a great sounding plot. Here's some sick ass world building. Then here's a love interest that is gonna take over and we're not gonna care about what the fuck is supposed to happen as long as we get to talk about how cute the love interest is and how bad we wanna kiss him. No, thank you. I'm reading a fantasy for a reason. If you tell me there's gonna be a sick ass romance and that's gonna be a big part of the plot, that's fine. Don't just sneak one in there and be like, you know what, it seems legit. Hi, sunshine. Look at him. Hi, baby boy. Hi, baby boy. And then, speaking of sick ass romance, I got The Right Swipe by Alicia Ray, wherein, Draco, that is not gonna end well, that hurt. Thank you. So Rhiannon, she created a dating app, but she's very cynical about actually dating and using said dating app. She has a few rules, being nude pics are by invitation only. You don't say, pause. If you're the type to send nudes without asking if somebody would like said nudes first, you're a dick, don't do it. Do you know how many times I've gotten unsolicited dick pics and then opened my phone and clicked on the thing, not knowing what it was and then my mother was right there? Stop it. You suck ass if you do that. If someone stands you up, block them with extreme prejudice. Bubsy, can we not right now? Sweet boy, I love you. We showed him the video of the heartbeat and he just stopped and his eyes got big and he listened to his sibling's heartbeat. I'm fine. And rule number three is protect your heart. You know what? These rules, they're legit, but she probably takes them a little bit too far. And then her newest match, a former pro football player, Samson Lima, maybe Lima, like the beans. Lima, Peru, Lima, Ohio. Probably Lima. They have a fantastical one night stand and then he's like, later. And she's like, uh, what? Being ghosted sucks, okay? Doesn't matter if it's a one night stand, if it's a friendship that went on for a while, but being ghosted sucks. And she thinks, you know what? I'm good, I have finally gotten over being ghosted and then bam, he shows up again. I'm sorry I scared you, I love you. But not only is he just back in a big way, he's teamed up with one of her business rivals and she's like, fuck, I still wanna fuck, but you are trying to undermine my career, but I still wanna fuck. Talk about a dilemma, you know? This sounds fantastic. And then the last book that I got from Indigo. Yes, luxury bedding for my son. Hi, sweet boy. Oh, you smell so nice right now. You smell like daddy. When my son's ass gets out of the camera, I'll just do it from up here. Next is Crashing the A-List by Summer Heacock. <laughs> the word cock is in there. Clara Montgomery, a former book editor, has been unemployed for a grand total of four months and she hates it. She's sleeping on her brother's ugly couch in Queens, her little brother of all people, trying to find a new job. And then she's like, fuck it, I need cash. I need cash now, I needed cash yesterday. So she takes a job cleaning out old storage units. Lo and behold, she finds some weird fucking shit. If you ever watch Storage Wars, you know, there's some weird shit in there. But then she finds dead snakes and glass jars that are she's convinced are full of pickled eyeballs. Everything smells like beets. Okay, I fucking love beets, but only if they are like freshly cooked with a ton of garlic. Mm. Beautiful. And then she comes across a storage unit that once belonged to an escort service. And she finds the brothel resume of a younger Caspian Tittleswitch, which kind of seems like his name was modeled after Benedict Cumberbatch. Could be just me. An astonishingly famous British actor. She tries to tell this guy, for whatever reason, I don't know why she's telling this guy, but he finds out somehow, she reaches out, and is like, hey, your secret's safe with me. I'm not gonna tell anyone that you like to diddle escorts. You're famous, probably not gonna be a good look for you, but like, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. And then he's like, mm, seems fake, 
pretty sure you're trying to blackmail me. And she's like, no, bud, I'm serious. I'm just an awkward bean. I just want to let you know your secret's safe with me. We're cool. Like, you do what you need to, but I'm not going to tell the press. And he's like, you're blackmailing me. And then it goes just haywire. And then the tabloids start thinking that she's his new girlfriend. And they're both like, what the fuck? She starts finding him more irresistible than she expected. Because he probably took his shirt off and she's like, oh my God, swoon. And he took his pants off and she was like, uh-huh. And then they had sex. And she's like, I don't want to like you, but you're good in bed. It just goes from there. You know what? I need to stop ruining these books for myself before I read them, but I'm going to fucking love it anyways. It's going to be very predictable, guaranteed. Most likely, not guaranteed, most likely. But I'm gonna love it anyways, because there's going to have hot characters and the hot characters are gonna smash. And that's all it takes for me to give a book five fucking stars these days. Because one, I'm hormonal. Two, I'm hormonal. And three, I'm kind of in a reading slump. So like anything that actually just catches my interest and holds my interest gets five stars. Simple as that. Okay, so those are the books that I actually got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine books. And then I have a package from somewhere in the United Kingdom. So I'm going to assume it's either from Karis. It's not from Karis. It could be from Emma, but Emma hasn't sent them out yet. So. This first book is The Daughters of Nri. I am not 100% sure on this con conversation. Pronunciation. I need to listen to the audiobook. I need to listen to the author talk about it somehow. Let me know. I bought this book for myself on Book Depository and then somebody sent me this, but it sounds fantastic. So there's a gruesome war and then after said gruesome war the old gods are like fuck all y'all bye And their only existence remains in these two girls who are twins that were separated at birth First of all rude don't separate the children They are goddesses like actual goddesses who grew up believing that they were human and grew up believing that they were like, you know, not a pair. So Nala is strong-willed and she wants to find adventure in her quiet small village. And then her reserved twin, Sinai, she resides in the cold and political palace of in Inri. I don't think it's Nri, I think it's like Inri. Draco, your little claws, you're gonna, you're gonna scratch mommy. That's rude. Don't do that. Yeah, miles apart, they have the same blood, the same face, the same magic that everyone was like, it disappeared a long time ago and they're like, surprise bitches, we still have it. Okay, so they were separated at birth for a reason. A price paid to ensure their survival from the guy who rules this kingdom. They're tested in ways that awaken a mystical, formidable power deep within themselves and then they have to find their way back to this king, emperor, guy. I'm assuming it's a king because it says kingdom, logical, deductive reasoning here. But can they defeat the man who brought the gods themselves to their needs. I think this is supposed to be a series. Yes, it's a series. So I'm gonna say no, they cannot defeat him in this book, but eventually I think they will. This cover though, can we talk about this? Jesse from Bowties and Books did a video about this. I will link that down below. They are very eloquent talking about this. This cover gives me life though. I was really sad though, because it's not available at Indigo. I checked, it wasn't anywhere to be found. I checked the website, I checked the kiosk, I went in store, I asked an employee who put it into the group chat, and then she messaged me on Instagram, and she was like, no, no one's heard of it. It's a very small publisher. I think this is their first book. I'm not a 100% sure, but I think it could be their first book. And Amazon has easier access to smaller publishers than Indigo does. So I ordered from Book Depository, but then this one came in, from somewhere. And finally, I've got this big bitch that I think has just one book in it because Amazon loves excess packaging for no fucking reason. It's not gonna end well, is it? No, I need scissors. I can't do that. Oh, my pants are falling down, excuse me. I haven't been able to do it most of my pants since August, so that's why all of my pants are always falling down. I love filming because no one ever sees below the waist. Can we take a look at this for a hot second? How? This is Karis for sure. She got me the fucking Ravenclaw. 20th anniversary edition of the Prisoner of Azkaban and McGonagall. This is Karis. I don't even need to know. I don't need to look at anything. If this isn't Karis, then I've lost my mind. Her Twitter name is at McGonagall. She's very much a Ravenclaw. Minnie McG is my fave. Let's see what this is. Yeah, it's Karis. She is the biggest McGonagall stan ever and I love it. And she will make a Ravenclaw out of me yet. Bubsy, ow, that hurt. Look at the box. Not a trim his claws. My brother's calling me. Thank you so much, Karis. 
I will continue this in five seconds when I stop talking to my brother. Stuart and Stuart glory holds, we drill him, you fill him. Never mind, he was hanging out with a friend, so he's telling me he'll call me later. Thank you to whoever sent me this book. I don't know who sent me this book. This one, if we've forgotten, because I would have forgotten if I was just watching this, because pregnancy brain. And thank you, Karis. I love it. I am trying to collect every edition of Harry Potter. And this is my first Minerva Funko. She's like, Bitch, do your homework. Oh my god, I'm so excited for these other packages to come in. And I'm excited for my used bookstore tomorrow because I get a lot of super cheap books. I'm looking for the whole Animorph series. I have maybe like 20 of them now, something like that. And there's a few other old series that I'm trying to finish that I will usually find at least a couple at this bookstore, but I will bring you guys along tomorrow. So this is like come book shopping with me two times, three different stores, but two different days. That's it for now. And I will see you tomorrow morning. Let's look at Draco for a second, because that's the most important thing. Hey, sweet boy. What are you looking at? So it is October 22nd. Wow, I forgot what day it was. What a dummy. I haven't gone to the used bookstore yet. I'm probably just gonna end up going tomorrow because I don't feel like leaving the house again. But I have two packages. This is from Karis, I know it is, and I'm pretty sure this is from Madison. Let's open up the little card first. Oh my God, washi tape. Yeah, it's Karis. Also, that's her writing. Happy birthday to me. Oh my God, look at it. Look at it. Oh, what a sweetheart. I love you, Karis. Oh my God, and Ozzy. Oh, my sweet boy, Ozzy. One day I will meet you and I'm gonna give you the biggest snuggles in your whole world. I love you. Oh, Ooh, okay, God. I love you. Thank you for the gift and the card. That's beautiful. Yeah, we got a book. That's a cute face. That's what we call it off. Thought it was gonna be this one. It's from Madison. I didn't know your last name until right now. Well Met by Jen DeLuca. I was gonna get this yesterday at Indigo and she was like, no, don't pick anything from the second shelf. And I had grabbed the two books that I knew were on my wish list from the second shelf, so I had to put them both back. I'm gonna go get the other one another day. But this is about a girl named Emily. She moves to a small town in Maryland to help her sister do things. And then she ends up volunteering for the local Renaissance Fair. Sign me up. I'm that kind of nerd. She meets an irritating school teacher. Yes, sweet boy. She meets an irritating school teacher named Simon and it's very much like a hate to love. And the Renaissance Fair is his family's legacy. He doesn't like her. He doesn't like Emily. No, he thinks that she is a waste of space, basically. And everything about her is just like, oh, the fuck, I don't like it. I don't need it. I don't want it. But then when they're in the Renaissance Fair and everybody's all dressed up in their costumes, it's a total 180 and he's very flirty with her. But is he flirty because it's the character he's playing or does he actually like her and doesn't know how to show it in his everyday kind of life? Probably a little bit of both. So she wasn't even supposed to be there for more than the summer, but then she's like, you know what? Maybe I like it because of this boy, my sister, and this Renaissance Fair. So probably what's gonna happen is she's gonna start thinking about that and then some stupid shit's gonna happen and she's like, you know what? I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna leave. She might leave, I'm not 100% sure if I'm confident about if she actually leaves or not but she's gonna come back and they're gonna fall in love. They're gonna have a lot of sex. Go team. And now I know I'm waiting on one from Emma. That'll be here soon, one day. Not 100% sure. I do still need to go to the used bookstore. And I put the announcement out on Twitter today about the baby and on Instagram, that's what the other one's called. My phone has been blowing up non-stop, non-stop. And I love it. Everybody is so supportive. Thank you all for just being here. Oh boy, where would you go? Okay, he's downstairs. And uh, yeah, I cried at work a couple times because all of the nice messages. Also because I kept listening to the heartbeat. It is what it is. I just can't stop crying. The happy tears, you know? Also, I'm freezing right now. Like, I'm about to start shaking. But I need to charge this battery a little bit, go put some makeup on, and then we're going to film the video about our pregnancy journey. And uh, I'll 
will see you when I see you with the rest of this video. That's supposed to not be 12 days long, but it's gonna be 12 days long because why the hell not? Hello, hello. It is 10.30 in the morning on Wednesday, October 23rd. And I've got another package. Just boo. Can't be doing that. We're going to the floor. Dimmer. This is from Emma. Most likely, because she said part of my present was arriving today. How in the fudge nuts do I open this shit? Has this been crazy glued shut? I need scissors. Oh, okay. Oh, it's green. It's Slytherin. The, um, I lost the words. The Slytherin edition, the paperback one of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So now I have the Ravenclaw and the Slytherin paperbacks, which means I just need to get six more copies of this fucking book. And then I need to get all eight of Chamber of Secrets. And happy birthday, Yura. Oh, what a shithead. I love you. Next time I will put a bunch of random little things. I will do that for Christmas. So you can buy me some Christmas presents kidding. I love you. Thank you. The second part should be coming, she said, next week sometime. So this video is going to be going on for a long damn time. Look, look at how pretty it is. It is the best house. I mean, I'm a little bit biased. And Hufflepuff, yes, is the second best house because, again, a little bit biased. Oh my god. Bubsy, mommy's collection is growing. Do you care? No, he doesn't care. I am going to go to the used bookstore today. I'm going out for lunch with my mom at noon. It's, yeah, 10.40 right now. I'm waiting for this fucking video to process because Final Cut takes forever sometimes and then it's got to upload. The way Draco just crawls underneath this couch, he did it too fast this time for me to actually show you. He kind of looks like a demon and I'm kind of terrified. Anyways, we're going out for lunch to East Side Mario. Say bada boom bada bing. Uh, like basically the Canadian equivalent of Olive Garden. We used to have Olive Gardens here. There might still be some elsewhere in the country, but they got rid of the one here. We both actually used to work there way back in the day. My mom in like 1999 or something and me up until like 2010 to 2012, I think. So yeah, we're gonna go there for lunch because unlimited salad and breadsticks. Yes. <laughs> and cheese capoletti. And then after that, I'm gonna go to the used bookstore. Sweet boy, what are you doing? Ow, what in the fuck? Draco, that hurt. That's rude. Scratch mommy's finger. He's attacking me from under the couch. <laughs> that little back paw. <clears throat> oh my God. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the bookstore after pick up a few tings, just see what they have, if they have anything. Sometimes they don't, sometimes they do. He's found ping pong balls under the couch. He hides stuff down there, and then every few days he goes and he plays with them and he gets them back out, and I'm obsessed with him. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go get ready. The birthday celebrations are continuing until I get all of my presents, so I don't make the rules. I just make the rules. So it's um October 25th. Oh my god, it's Karis's birthday. Happy birthday again, Karis. I am about to go to the used bookstore, and I'm still waiting on one more package from Emma for sure. I don't know if anything else is coming, but I'm still waiting on that one for sure. My best friend is coming over on the weekend to give me my presents. Oh, I'm a little bit exhausted. I'm a lot exhausted. So yeah. Let's go to the bookstore. a little bit overboard. I got nine books, but it's only $58 and he gave me a 10% off discount because I bought so many books and I need to keep going back because I'm trying to finish a lot of my childhood series and series that I really liked. I want to get in different editions. I want to get the hardcovers when they from when they came out because I have a lot of paperback ones and I can find a lot of them at this store as evidenced by right now. I didn't find any Animorphs ones, which is what I really wanted, but I know they've had them there before. And I've bought quite a few before, so they just didn't have any right now. I need to go to Shoppers now and get some things for Kurt, but I will show you the books when I get home. Also, this is what the store looks like. I forgot to tell you. Look how cute. <coughs> and we are back with more. So I bought the nine books, as we saw in the other clip. Before I get into them, though, this isn't book related, but I'm pretty sure I know who this is from because it did say they were going to send it in a tube. <laughs> And this is from Livy from I Livy for or I Livy. <laughs> 
I live here for books. She said she would, she wanted to send me something after I put my announcement up. She's like, if you see something in the tube, it's from me. Yes, Draco? Mommy's having a good struggly time right now. I just have long nails. <laughs> I don't want to break them. <laughs> or we could not with the vibrating like that. Oh my God. I got sweaty fingers and I don't want to ruin the poster. There we go. That is my alarm to take my prenatal vitamin. All right, let's see, let's see. Ooh, it is a mandala print of a pregnant woman. And it says on it, no one else will ever know the strength of my love for you. After all, you're the only one who knows the sound of my heart from the inside. Oh my God, that is amazing. Thank you so much. This is so fucking cool. Oh my god. I absolutely love this. This is going up in the nursery, kids. Oh, Curtis, stop getting Dairy Queen. Come home and, and see me so I can show you. Okay, this is so cool. I love it. And now on to the books. Starting with City of Heavenly Fire, the sixth book in the Mortal Instruments series, which is actually my favorite, which I was super surprised about because I actively avoided the last three books in the series because I felt like it was just a money grab. If we're being totally honest, I bought City of Glass right when it came out and my edition, a hardcover one in this cover, says the final book in the trilogy. And then it was like magically poof, we're expanding the world. That's it's doing really well. And it seemed like it was just eh. And there are times where I was like, did these books really need to happen? But this one is my favorite one, which I was super surprised about. Mortal Instruments follow Jason, Clary, and the whole Shadowhunter world and all that fun bit. I have the newer version in this one, and I'm trying to find them all in this copy, cover. Hi, sweet boy. So yeah, found that one. And then I got the fourth book in this random series that I read as a teenager, Friends Close, Enemies Closer by Claudia Gable, an in or out novel. Follows like a bunch of snotty teenage girls who were friends and then puberty happens and then they all hate each other and boys. Classic, trashy YA. I have the first three. I've been looking for this one low key, not really really looking for it, but I found it and I was like, shit, I guess I'll reread them and finally finish the series. You know if they ever start liking each other again. And then I got the third book in the Ruby Oliver series by E. Lockhart, The Treasure Map of Boys. Uh, there's the boyfriend list and the boy book. I can never remember which one's first. The boyfriend list first and then the boy book, which follows Ruby Oliver. Wow, I'm pretty sure they're in boarding school and we all know that I am a hoe for books set in boarding schools and boys happen and boys ruin everything. So this is the third book. Yes, this is the third book. I already said that I lost my mind and there are just so many boys always and she just can't decide which one and girls probably gotta decide soon or just pick none or all of them if you're into that and why the hell not you do you sunshine and then i got books seven and eight seven is startled by his furry shorts and eight is love is a many trousered thing of the georgia nicholson series by louise renison one of my favorite series i finally finished it last year follows a teenage girl named georgia nicholson and the shenanigans that she gets up to in everyday life so i have the entire series the first nine books are the paperback editions of these covers and the Tenth one is hardcover, so I was like, you know what? Let's try and find all the hardcover ones. And I found the hardcovers. Then I bought a bunch of Julie Kagawa books. So this is the Iron Fay series. This one's the Iron Knight, it's part of a new one. So, no. This one, no. This one is not. The Lost Prince is part of like a spin-off series something that follows one of the other characters. There is the Iron Knight. Iron Legends, The Iron Legends, rather, and The Iron Queen. I don't know what fucking order they're in. It's uh, like a Midsummer Night's Dream loose retelling. I've read the first two. They were pretty good. I'm just gonna try and get to these sometime soon and see how it goes. I don't really remember much about what else they are about, and I don't want to read these synopses because I don't want to spoil it for myself. And now we're waiting on one more thing from Emma. So it's a month, over a month later, really, and I forgot to finish this video out and I forgot to edit it until uh, yesterday. I'm gonna keep this quick though. Hi, Tice. I'm gonna keep this quick because the video at this point is already almost 40 minutes long. Thank you so much to everybody who sent me something for my birthday. It means so much. I'm in love with everything that I got. Oh, and Emma sent a uh, Funko of Sirius Black. I forgot to film that bit. And then my best friend got me a mug that says Mama Bear. It's got like little ears on the top of the mug and then a gift card to Indigo and a candle. And Ticey Boo is here. He does not like this camera. He's very confused by this camera. I don't know what I want you guys to let me know down below in the comments. So uh, just tell me how your day's been. And Tyson is 
dragging this camera. Yeah, tell me how your day is going and what you're reading right now. Or if that's just too much or you don't have a lot of time, drop some hearts down below. Preferably, preferably purple ones because that's my favorite color. As always, to stay updated with my current reads and how I'm feeling about them, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads, all at your book nerd Zoe, which I will leave linked down below in the description box. My dog is just being too fucking cute right now. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you'll get notified every time I post a new video. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and get at least a little bit of uninterrupted reading time. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,